Some people are blessed with good skin, but for the rest of us, we have to follow a regimented skincare program to maintain a healthier appearance. But some skin damage, like blemishes, sun damage, and age spots, can't be fixed with lotions and facials. These imperfections need to be treated with advanced facial aesthetics treatments. Miriam Denham, medical skin care specialist at the McLean Clinic, is here to explain different treatments that can be used to help rejuvenate your skin. You're watching Daily Web TV. Laser treatments are saving many people from having to go under the knife and giving them some non-surgical options. Today we're speaking with Miriam Denham of McLean Clinic about laser. Miriam, laser, it's a huge subject, it's everywhere, but there are so many different types. Yeah. How does one choose and sort out what works and doesn't work? Well, I think it's very important to do your research on medical grade uh, lasers as opposed to lasers that are in different types of salons or um, practices that don't have a supervising physician on site. So there's a difference between those types of laser treatments? There's usually a difference in the depth of penetration that the light or the laser beam reaches within the skin. And certain depths have to have a physician on site. How do you choose what you need? If somebody comes to you, do you offer one type of laser or a variety and, and how do you pick? Well, first of all, it's very important to determine what's bothering the patient. If a patient comes in with a lot of blood vessels on their face, we know what type of laser to treat that with. Uh, it's usually a deeper penetrating beam to uh, distinguish the blood as opposed to something else that's sitting on the skin. Okay, and what if, uh, say, you're trying to get rid of age spots or brown marks, that type right. of thing? Right. We would typically use a treatment called Intense Pulse Light, mm -hmm. and it's a laser that can distinguish the brown from the red. So yeah. it's usually a series of treatments they would come in for to correct that color. Now, can any, is anybody a candidate for that? It's very important to determine uh, the safety. So usually patients that have a darker pigment, uh, generally, they usually don't have a lot of the superficial brown. We may treat that uh, more with skincare products. There's many people that are, are choosing to do laser instead of actual surgery for facelifts, so does skin tightening really work with laser? I think there's a few options for skin tightening as opposed to surgical options. Uh, we like to use a treatment called Thermage, which uses a radio frequency to tighten the collagen in the skin. Our typical intense pulse light does tone, but there are different modalities to treat skin tightening. And does it last a, a fair length of time? How many treatments are involved? Usually for the intense pulse light for rejuvenation and tightening, there would be a series of treatments. The Thermage system is a one-time treatment, mm -hmm. and it would usually last typically a year and a half. One-time treatment, is there a fair bit of downtime with that? For Thermage, there's no downtime, um, and for the intense pulse light treatments, usually no downtime either. Is there anything else you can do specifically with laser that improves people's skin? We have different types of laser resurfacing for acne scarring, uh, traumatic injury to the skin. Mm -hmm. uh, they usually have a lot of downtime, but we can pick the amount of downtime by adjusting the different types of uh, energy into the skin. And hair removal is another big popular area for laser, correct? Yes, it is. It's a big industry now. Uh, there's specific lasers that target different types of hair color. Now, traditionally, laser hair removal works best on a lighter skin with a darker pigment in the hair. Mm -hmm. So if a person has a tan or if they're a darker pigmented skin, there's a lot more risks associated with it. How many treatments would it typically take for hair removal? Typically hair removal is usually about a four to six treatment modality. Sometimes people will take six to eight, depending on the patient. Mm -hmm. uh, usually there is a 70 to 90 percent permanent reduction. And there's about a 20 to 30 percent population that don't respond to it. Well, Miriam, this is great information and thanks for shedding some light on laser treatments. And if someone would like to find out more, where can they find you? They can contact us at mcleanclinic.com. Great. Thanks so much. You're welcome. McLean Clinic for medically supervised laser treatment. Keeping you informed, I'm Sheila Clark and you've been watching Daily Web TV.